Greetings Minecrafters, Non-Sanity here, and welcome to Project Ozone 3. This is a skyblock, and I'm going to create a new world here. I've been giving it a try. I'm going to make sure that we can do cheats, just in case something during the video editing is a problem. And we're going to make it Garden of Glass. So let's hop in to this new world. Now this is a pack... Uh, Skyblock, using the Garden of Glass start, which is the way most people play it. Uh, lots and lots of quests, but it is only lightly linear, meaning that certain things are gated, but the way you start is pretty much up to you. It's not heavily, you must do this, then this, then this, as many Skyblocks are. Uh, I don't like that because I like doing things my own way, and I like seeing everybody doing videos for the pack, doing it a different way. So here we are. I've noticed a lot of people had some stone around the outer edge. Uh, current version, I guess, doesn't do that. Now, I don't need this manual. I don't need the quest book. And I don't need Lexica Botanica right now. Now, what ability did I get? Power stare. Push enemies. Push away entities you're looking at don't really need that right now. We'll hold on to it, though. All right, we've got this little light up here, and we've got this grass cube, and there's some dirt down there. There's one block of water, and there's some living roots. Uh, I can open up my quest book here. You can see that there's many different categories, and each category has quite a few things to do. And I'm not going to obsess too much about this. As you play, you will get these RAKs for doing the quests. Most quests just give you RAK. In this case, you get a diamond, an oak sapling, and some dirt, which would be handy to start. But hereafter, the reward's usually just the rack, which I like. If the packs that give you a you know, some sort of loot chest. That means everybody's getting different things. Some of these are a bit overpowered. It changes the way the game is played. Um, here you can take the rack that you earn and you can spend it. Like five rack gets you a basic loot chest if you want to get some random stuff. Uh, if you want flight, it's going to take 768. Most quests give you between five and ten. So that's quite a few quests down the road. Rhino Shield, Creative Dungeon Locator, all sorts of uh, abilities here. Flight is probably the one I'd want to save everything for, so I'm not going to use the rack, and I won't be obsessive about coming in here and saying, okay, I got cobblestone, I got wood, I'm going to come in here and click it and complete and get my rack. I'll probably just do it all at once later on just to see how much I've got. But the first two things we need are wood plant that. If you plant it in the middle, uh, having a block up here will force a large tree most of the time, or a very short one, but it also does make it take longer to grow. I'm, I'm doing the, the crouch twerking to get it to grow, and see it takes a really long time when it's here in the middle. There it goes, and I didn't even get a big one. Now I'm going to vein mine the leaves with my hand. Good, I got two saplings. We're set. If I didn't get any saplings, I could start over again, because we're right here at the beginning. Or if you go down and you break one of those uh, living root, it gets you some pieces of living root. You put four of those together, you get another sapling. Now see, if I put this over here, opposite, it should go really fast, yeah. And I'm going to do that now, because... I want to get more saplings and drops, and it just helps to be on the side of the tree. What we're going to do here, we're going to make a crafting bench. I'm going to make one thing in that bench. And that is a sign. There we go. Now we can pick this up. And I'm going to turn it into a crafting table on a stick. I love this thing. Uh, actually, additions, we can just toss you. 
All right, so let's now use that. Do we have enough? We do. Make some crooks. Let's get some of the stuff out of inventory. With the crook, I'm going to vein, and that gets us some silkworms, more saplings, and if we get luckier next time, some apples. All right, so that's how we get wood. We're going to do that a lot. Uh, we're going to need some string before long. So let's grow another tree. Uh, let's not grow the big tree. Let's grow a smaller tree for this. And I'm in a in a leaf block. Take some silkworms and you put them on the leaf blocks. And they will, as you can see, the progress up there, it's a 16, 20, 30%. The silkworms are growing and they're going to spread to all the other leaves. Once all the leaves are white and at 100%, then we're going to use our crook to get some string. In the meantime, if we crouch right click on the ground, we get these little rocks. If we take these little rocks and four them together, we get cobblestone. And when you get a lot of them, this is right click, you can also just hit K and that'll put do a two by two with them and give you the cobblestone. So that's how we're going to get our cobblestone. Get a little bit more here. Hit K. There we go. Eight. We can make a furnace. Pop the furnace down. Put some, actually put our other two signs in there. We won't need those. With some logs we'll get some charcoal. We can make some torches. Because next I'm going to start expanding this platform. And it's just going to take a lot of right clicking. You can hold down right click to get the pebbles. Um, and I should just go ahead and use that to make more that way. How are we doing here? That looks about right. Let's use our fresh crook so we get all of it. There, yeah, we got string. String got wood we can make cobblestone all right a lot of grind here just to get started so let me do all that and I will be back shortly all right I've been busy actually not too busy I've been watching some YouTube videos while well, I get lots of wood and uh, right click for lots of stone I filled this chest up so we've got plenty of stone now built this platform we also have a lower floor platform down here it's slightly smaller I'll be expanding the upper one first and then expand the basement as needed but this is good to start these are half slabs uh, lower half slabs both above and in the basement from block craftery uh, framed slabs pretty easy to make uh, takes four sticks in the corners like that and it gives you two framed blocks and then you can take three frame blocks to get three half slabs so you don't you sort of lose on the half slabs if you're trying to build if you put two of these together you will get a full block but you will have lost 50 percent of your materials but it's so cheap to begin with and uh i can now hit these with any other block and it'll take on that appearance of that block using up the block so i'll still need some additional materials to floor this out but i can make it look like whatever i want later on right now we're just go with the cheap rather noisy floor here but as soon as we get a little farther along i get something that i like the looks of i can uh swap it out so uh i've cooked up some apples cooked apples are the best food i did some of the quests like i went in here and completed the let's see was the wood yeah the wood gives you two glass bottles and a juicer it's one of the few quests that i've found that actually give you something uh i don't think the cobble did nope i don't think any of these will do anything either but uh, the glass bottles are going to be very useful, and I've got them on me. I don't need the juicer, though, so I'm going to toss the juicer away here. So what we're going to build first is I'm going to need some half slabs. We're going to make a wooden barrel. And I've forgotten the wooden crucible. 
Yeah, that's what I knew it had some legs on it. So we're going to set these down. I guess we'll just set them down here for now. You know, it's because I'm using lower half slabs. Nothing, it doesn't come up. I'm going to use some frame slabs and that'll turn them into solids. Again, I will have lost some of my materials that way. All right, so what do we do with these? Well, I've got lots of saplings left over. Uh, if I put saplings in here, that will start turning into dirt. And if I put saplings into here, or leaves, leaves are better, but saplings will work. This will turn into water. See, it's got water in there now. And this one is dirt. So you can make dirt that way. I'm just going to toss it in here with the other pieces of dirt I've got. And it is faster with leaves. And I think there is wooden shears. Yeah, I can make wooden shears. Grow up a tree. Let's get a smaller tree over here faster. And then get a whole bunch of leaves that way. Did I drop some? Nope, got them all. Put those in there. That'll give us a lot more water, I think. And get rid of that. Now, as I said, the bottles will be useful because... Actually, I really only need one. I can put the other one away. You can move water with the bottles. Looks like it's going to jump between two slots. Yep. All right, well, what does that get us? All right, well, now we got to make some other items. Uh, we're going to need some of the cobblestone I've got and some sticks. I'm going to make two of these. And I'm going to make two of these. And I'm going to grab even more cobble. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cobble and I'm going to craft it into compressed cobble. Really did I not quite get a full... There we go. One whole stack. of compressed cobble and I'm going to crouch if I just right click it on the ground here it will uh, texture <laughs> the floor that's a little dangerous to do this because you can see there's I got visualizations on it's not a blood moon it's still I guess it's supposed to be raining I'm in a swamp I'd see rain if it was raining it is sort of dim looking though but I'm going to use this stone builder's wand and lay it out vein mine it with the hammer that gives us compressed gravel so I'm going to do the same thing again crouch so it doesn't place it on the floor I'm doing five wide because that's how wide this wand can do there we go vein mine it it's now sand. Oop. All right, and this is going to break. When it breaks, it always, the last thing it drops is one of the ones that you're trying to break. It, like it knocks it off, but it doesn't actually convert it. All right, now we've got compressed dust. Turn that into nine stacks of dust. Don't need that much dust at the moment for this, but if we do that, clay. Turn the clay into clay balls. Turn the clay balls into a unfired clay bucket. Toss this over here. I'm use, again using saplings for fuel just because I got tons of them right now. They burn through quickly, but I got lots. And I don't need to do a lot of cooking right now. There, now I've got a clay bucket that I can get water, and I can make a water, let's see, I'll do it over here, I think. 
be very careful not to vein mine the floor. <laughs> and I'm going to, where am I? There they are. Hop down here. Oh, yes. And how far down do I want it? That one there, or that one there. That's where we use them. All right. Okay, that gives me a little pit to put my water in. Put one there. Is there enough in here for? Oh, enough in here for a second bucket. There is. All right, we got an unlimited source of water. Excellent. That'll make it easier to fill this up and make more clay. So, all right, water to clay. We got that. Now we got to do a little bit of sifting. So let's empty out my inventory here a little bit. Get some string. Get some of that wood back. Let's do a little bit of crafting. First, we're going to make. Let's see how many can we. We can make a lot of these. We don't need that many. I need only 25 at most. There we go. I'll be making more later, but that's what we need right now. And we'll make some sieves. Need some slabs. Let's go for 25 as well. Of course, I need one more. Convert that. More sticks. Twenty-four. Need one more stick. Now I'm going to embed them here in the floor. I really should make an axe, you know? <laughs> Just to go a little faster. We're going to make a better tool later on. Definitely this episode, I think. Counted somewhere. I made it one too wide. And I'm just going to vein mine that. And put down all of these. This is the most you can have and operate it. All at the same time and I figured hey we got the materials let's just go big there we go so now if we took some of this dust that I had and dust isn't the main one I want to do but if I start just holding down right click here in the middle you'll see stuff flying up one whole stack takes three goes. I now have some bone meal, which is actually what I did need. Because I have the clay. And now if I take the clay and I combine it, 13 bone meal, 13 clay, perfect. We have unfired porcelain, do that. And we have an unfired crucible. Cook that up. We're making progress. I also like the fact that these frame slabs, though they're made of wood, do not burn. Very handy. Alright, I'm going to do this. I guess I'm going to do this next step right here. 
I'll put a torch there and take the Hour of Unfired Crucible, put it on top of the torch, and put four cobblestone in there. Now that's going to start turning into lava. Now, we won't be able to move the lava with our clay. Well, we will be able to move it with the clay bucket, but it will destroy the clay bucket. Not a problem. We can make more clay. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to run some gravel through this. You see, uh, we got the gravel by taking the cobblestone and hitting it with the hammer. And I'll do that running through the gravel with that. And let this cook up, and I will be right back. All right, I did not run gravel through this thing. Instead, you put three gravel together, and you get a flint. I think if I ran gravel through this, I'd get flint, but I think it's you get a better return if you just craft it. So with the flint and the string and the wood, I made flint versions of the sieves. And now these go through a whole stack in three goes. Here goes one, two and a half, and that turns an entire stack into all this stuff. So I can just quickly run through these remaining stacks of gravel I've got. And then we'll take a look and see how much I got of everything that I'm going to be needing. It's pretty quick when you have this many. That's why it's, it's sort of worth it to invest. All right, put all this in here. Sort it. All right, we got lots of iron. There's a stack of iron right there because these things craft them four together in a square and you get iron. There's a whole bunch of iron. Now, you can actually just take all these into your inventory and go into regular inventory and just Shift-K on all of them. And you're left with the ones you have less than four of. And you have all these. So we got three aluminum. I think that's all I need. Because uh, I need to make... Yeah, of course, it's the last thing. The crushing table, which needs three aluminum. Some stone slabs. All right, and some oak. So I just need to cook up my three aluminum. I'm going to need to, need to cook three cobblestone. Get that ready. And we'll go ahead and make the hammer. We'll just do the stone hammer. Oh, it needs more sticks. I dumped all of my supplies off here. There we go. We have the hammer. Lost my cobble to the hammer. I covered up my water so that... Uh, oh yeah, I had it. And if I fall in, I can just dig my way out. I had these dug away so I could get out easily, but I fill it back in. That's fine. I can still reach the water here. And the third one. There we go. All right, let's craft this up. Stone on the top. Aluminum like that. Planks. Did I get this backwards? Oh, yes, the half slabs. There we go, crushing table. And I will put that, I guess, here. And should we put something underneath it just to make it look like it's not floating? There we go. All right, so I wonder, can I duplicate? Oop. I think you can. Oh, that makes the uh, this stuff. 
Oh, yeah, well, that... No, it didn't seem to make any difference. All right. <laughs> you need to put it through an extra step to actually get it to uh, multiply. That's okay. We're not too worried about multiplying our stuff right now. This will just cook up into one iron, I'm sure. Yep. So it'll be the same as these. So as soon as that second one comes out, I will toss this whole stack in there. But we're starting to get iron. Excellent. I would just leave this thing on top using the Draconic Evolution's P key. Oh, how's our lava? We've got a bucket of lava. Now, the first thing to do with that... I don't have any more of the... Uh, yeah, here's a little stack of them. Let's go down here and... Do that. Break our torch, because what we're going to do... Oh, yeah. We can now make a bucket. Let's get one more piece of iron. One, two, three. Put that back. Make these three iron plates. Bucket. Take that out and put it down there. You know, I haven't actually put lava next to these things. But I couldn't set them on fire, so I don't think lava will damage them either. But now this should make it uh, melt the cobblestone much faster. Blood moon is rising. Be very careful when uh, the blood moon is rising. Mobs can spawn right next to you if there's any yellow or red X's when you have that F7 turned on. Which I do have it turned on and nothing's showing up, so I should be good. I don't have to worry about lighting up this platform uh, because it's all lower half slabs. And these things don't seem to be val valid spawning points either, so I don't have to worry about them. And this light is lighting up the tops of all these for right now. But I do have torches for when I start spreading out a little farther. So what else we got in here? Rock candy, silver, oh, I had more aluminum, copper, oh, this, yeah, this is the spare, gold, lead, so I have all this, platinum, I mean, this, all these metals, we can do a lot with these right now, but uh, I want to make sure that we're making progression in the right way, so let me get set up for the next step. And I'll be right back. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do at this step right now. Talk some more on that. And that is, since we have clay, and we have iron, and we have wood, uh, cooking up the clay into bricks, making a chest, turning it into a hopper, taking five bricks, and the hopper, making a hopping bonsai, Get a piece of dirt and a sapling. Dirt, sapling. And now this will start growing trees for us. And the goods will be dropped into this crate below it. I just realized, do we have a slime island? Oh, we got no slime island. Well, that's a unfortunate start. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, there we go. Wood, sapling sticks, should give us some apples too. And this will just keep running all by itself. So good to do early on and let it be. All right, so I will continue. I'm going to start building out this way and make a mob farm. So let me get started with that and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I built a simple mob farm. See, there's red X's up there. Just come up here, chop at the ankles of whatever appears. I have it split in two so that if I'm down at this end, uh, nothing can see me from the other end and explode or whatnot. Just put a divider in it. Basically, it turns it into two separate mob farms. One deep, so it's easy to get the drops. A uh, couple of vindicators... Uh, one zombie and one en uh, enderman are all that's appeared so far, and only the zombie dropped 
uh, to rotten flesh, nothing else. I was really hoping that Enderman would drop an Ender Pearl. I need that. I used some of the iron that I cooked up to convert some of these over to iron sieves. It takes six iron each. And I ran all my dust through that, hoping I'd get another diamond, but I did not get one. So I will be making more dust and running it through there. But first, let's take this furnace. And using some of the iron, metal, make an iron furnace, and then go ahead and, since we also have gold, kick it up to a gold furnace. Gold furnace. So now I can toss that in there, and it will run a little faster, a little bit more efficiently. There are upgrades for this, but they need quartz, and we're not quite there yet. Hopefully soon. All right, so this is still general. Oh, look at all those apples, 50 apples. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and... I don't really need a lot of apples. Let's uh, make some dirt. Why not? All right, so I'll, I'll kill some more things in there. Uh, continue with stuff. When I get something else interesting, I will bring you back. All right, time for another little step along the way. I have over here some dirt and one of these wooden barrels. Now what I'm going to do, swap this out and build. Let's see if I should have everything I need. Oh, no, I don't. I need to grab out of here. Some terracotta, five terracotta, bucket of water, three iron. We have a kitchen sink. And I'm going to pop that there. And now we're going to just use a mix of different uh, mods here. We're going to take a piece of copper, or two pieces of copper, one piece of lead, get some fluid ducts. Bump, bump. We need a servo. So that's glass, redstone, and two iron. There we go. Servo on there, turn it on. That will keep this filled up with water. And now we want to, well, how do we want to arrange this? Oh, uh, first thing we need to do, these ancient spores. By sifting dirt in the string mesh, one of the main reasons for string is sifting dirt, Whack it right there. That turns that block underneath the thing to mycelium. That'll spread to the others. But for now, we're just going to use this one. Uh, now we're going to make... Oh, need to make some... Oh, I think I got some of those here. I do, but not quite enough. So three more stone. So make some of these. Need to make a chest. Make, actually, I just need to make one of these because I think you get four for the recipe. Yep. And let's make two more chests. Oh, make four. Recipe's easy. All right, so. Actually, I think we can just get away with one chest. We're going to pull out of the chest here and pull out of this thing here into the other two. I think only what I want to put it, what, what will go in there correctly, in this case, sand, which of this will turn it into endstone. Oh, not endstone. Nether. No. Soul sand. Sand to soul stand. Yes. <laughs> so let me clean up my inventory. Oh, that was the wrong chest for these. Actually, I don't want those in there either. Those are the raw materials. These are the processed things. Still not much is spawning in that thing over there, but we'll let it run. That's the idea is getting it set up early so it has time to run. All right, I'm going to make up some more sand to load this thing, and I'll be right back. Uh, it was a blood moon when I started putting down my uh, 
compressed cobblestone and compressed gravel. And I realized I wanted to show a way to prevent. I ran out of ran out of wands. A way to prevent things from spawning on top because there were yellow X's on top of this as I spread this out, and that's you know enough time for something to actually spawn back there. And the mobs that spawn during the blood moon are pretty tough. But by putting these columns with lights on it, the entire thing is well lit. And this can be a safe place to convert the materials without getting mobbed. All right, let's try this out. Convert this back to sand. And load it up in there. Oh, look, we already have some soul sand coming out. Now hopefully soul sand doesn't go in there. I don't think it can. And actually, just to find out, let's take all the sand back out. Yeah, it's converting back. Actually, it will get stuck in here. Hmm. All right, let's 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 make it two different uh, chests. Just a little safer, and it doesn't cost anything more than a second chest. Though I need to put it on the other side. <laughs> so I'll put the chest here. No, yeah, here. And the node. And the transfer pipe. There we go. <clears throat> so put all this, take this out, put all the sand in here. And the soul sand will appear in this chest. And you can just let this run. As this uh, mycelium spreads, I can make more of these wooden barrels. I just need to make, or just use more of these transfer nodes to empty them out. But uh, that should work just fine. This is going to take a while. It's at 61% trans. It's a slow process, but again, the slow processes are the ones you want to get started early. It's got some two mushrooms now. Up oh, there's something in the farm. Let's go see. It's got some armor. If it drops the armor, I could use it. Huh, armor made it tough. Illusioner. XP, we got another loot bag, nothing interesting really. This is everything I've gotten so far. Two totems of undying. I could carry one around, but I'm not too worried about the dying, and they do get used later on for heart canisters. Wither ash, can't do much with that. Uh, because I'm in a uh, Corallium infested swamp, I am getting the Abyssal Craft mobs, it looks like. A Feather Falling Enchantment. Some of these are the seeds and stuff I got from uh, Sifting Dirt. But I did get a uh, Steel Chest Plate, so again, it's not badly damaged. I'll wear that. Put this cool away. And there's a bow. All right, so I will continue until I get the next thing. All right, here's another little step. Uh, my water thing here, down below there, I've placed a stone barrel. You can probably see it better from down here. There it is. So it's surface, the, the, the water, it's just about, just below the water there. And if I take a bucket of lava, put it in there, I have obsidian. Grab another bucket. Obsidian. Another bucket. Another obsidian. Do I have enough for one more? I do. There. Four obsidian. 
I'm going to make two things. First thing is an embers automatic breaker. Uh, two iron plates, four lead, pretty cheap. There it is. And now I need one more bucket of lava, which I've got. Let's go ahead and load that up for more. And let's see, let's put this over here. Uh, nope. I guess I need to place something for it to place against. There we go. And now we need to take the bucket of lava and the four obsidian. Wasn't that the right recipe? Oh, it's hardened stone, not lava. Or not obsidian. Even cheaper. <laughs> All right, we'll make some hardened stone. You need clay, iron, cobblestone, and sand. Do I have any more sand handy? No. All right, let me get these materials up, and I will be right back. All right, much better now. Let's make the hard, unhardened stone. Toss that in there. Now, uh, I'm actually going to move this. I want to be here next to the the sink. Put it like that. Yeah. And do I have any of the? I do. And not that stone. This paneled cobblestone. There we go. I want to put something in the back there. Actually, let's give it a platform to stand on. Let me grab some more of these. There we go. And might as well fill that in too, because that'll be the basin. So I'll stand here, use a bucket to grab water from here, and put water there. And, oh, ran out of Ran out of burnables. I'll just toss some more saplings in there. So I just need one more of these. There we go. So now, iron, uh, lava bucket, hardened stone, lava infused stone. Place that there. All right. Do I get the bucket back? I did. Good. Water. Water. Turns into obsidian and is broken. Anyone for a trip to the nether? This is a little OP, I think, in that I'm turning water into obsidian, not lava. It's much cheaper. But I don't think there's anything that will let you put water into the world like that. Um available right now the l fluid material plane from applied energistics would do it but that's a ways off you think why am i getting so much well i'm going to make my preferred tool here should that be enough that should probably be enough let's go ahead and start uh, let's turn all this into sticks. We need a bunch of sticks. Oh, no, not oak buttons. Let me get some more wood. Oh, we just got plenty of sticks here. That's fine. All right. Sticks. We want to make a obsidian pickaxe. Obsidian axe. Obsidian shovel. Obsidian hoe. And obsidian sword. Put these all together, and there is the tool we'll be using. I'm just going to check the old stone tools off the edge. This is a pretty good tool. It's not the fastest, as you see there, but it has a really high durability. Look at that, 32,000 uses. 
And with Vein Miner, it's not bad. So that will be my main tool now. And as I've just been going over here and grabbing these, because why not? How are we doing for Soul Sand? We got 15 Soul Sand. Not bad. And now, run that. Oh, we can't run that on iron. Have to run it on flint. And we get another quartz. That's what I wanted. Excellent. All right. Time to upgrade this guy. We need to make... Can we make all three of these? Redstone, glowstone, blaze. Do I have eight glowstone? I do. Four of that. Four of that. And we need some more iron. All right. Let's whip these up. Three blank upgrade cards. First one is efficiency. Next one is ore processing. And the last one is speed. Come over here. Toss all three in. Let's grab copper. Toss the copper in. Noticeably faster. Be more efficient as well. And it's doubling. We now have ore doubling. Sweet. All right, I think that might be a good place to end this episode. Put away materials, not those. That can go in there, that can go in there. And that. The sand and gravel goes there. Top off my cobble. All right. <laughs> Oh, let's see what we'll see if we can get like an ender pearl here at the end. We have an enderman now. What do we have? An evoker. They don't seem to drop much. Oh, uh, I take that back. They drop emeralds. That's pretty good. Where are you? There you are. An illusioner. Another undying totem. We're going to have these heart canisters before long, for sure. Apple. Keep those here. Gold nugget there. All right. I think that's a good first episode. I could definitely go to the nether now and get some heat sand, which will speed that thing way up. Uh, we should have enough now to make... Magmatic dynamos with the heat sand. Yeah, Invar. Just have to make uh, Yeah, we can, we start getting with uh, machines in the next episode <laughs> That fast we'll have plenty of power and we can uh, Maybe even get some automated sifting going Because who wants to sift? But actually, what I really want to do, the main thing I'm pushing forward towards right now is I don't want to have to make sand and gravel and dust by hand. And the best way to make, for example, dust is the material stonework factory. Give it a little bit of power and it creates dust. And it requires pink slime. Everything else we can... Well, plastic and pink slime are the two things. To get pink slime, we're going to need to make plastic. So we'll probably do plastic next time. To do the pink slime, we need the slaughterhouse. There it is. That we can do. Iron, redstone, gold, plastic, tin, glass. So just to have to get some plastic. And then we can set up a uh, slaughterhouse over here on this mob farm. I mean, it's not a full-fledged mod farm, but it'll work with this thing, and it should make just enough pink slime that we can jump ahead and get the material stonework factory, and that'll make things a lot easier. So, until next time, this is Nonsanity signing out. Take care, be good, and see you next time. <laughs>